Hi there, my name is Andreas Hessler. I'm with the BC Bike Race and Rocky Mountain Bikes. We'd like to give you some technical tips through a series of videos that hopefully can make your riding experience just a little bit better. Hey guys, there's a lot to talk about with tires, so I thought maybe a little visual will help. When you're racing, you're going to use a little bit narrower tire, 1.9 to 2.1. Tires come in a big range, all the way up to 3.0, so you have to really zone in on what you're doing. If you're going to ride trail, depending on where you live, it can be anywhere from a 2.1 to a 2.4, with a lot of variety in between. That seems to be the bigger marketplace these days, a little bit more cushion, a little more variety in the tires, a little more aggressive. It's not racing, but it certainly can't, doesn't mean you're not riding hard. Then you get up to downhill, and that really means that you're running double ply tires, burly tires with a lot of resistance, uh, impact resistance, puncture resistance. They can go anywhere from 2.35 up to 3.0. Most of the downhill races are running 2.5, depending on the course. So there's a little bit of a visual understanding of where you might be. All right. So we've been talking about tires. We've talked about size of tires. We've talked about tires specific for specific terrain. We've talked about center knob and edge knob. But what I want you to consider is also the tire pressure you put in there for your body weight. And that will really uh, be the final straw in how your tire performs for you. Now, I'm 180 pounds and I run 30 PSI in the front and 32 in the rear on a 2.35 tire. That's a slightly bigger volume tire than perhaps some of us are used to, but I run slightly lower pressure. Now, if I ran a 2.1 tire, I might consider bumping up my tire pressures, both sides, by two pounds. So, once you have found out what your ideal tire pressure is, then you're ready to go forth and conquer. So try at home to find the lowest tire pressure you can run without flatting, and then play with that. Does that feel too soft for you? Perhaps bump it up a bit. And then you have to consider, if I'm racing in a muddy race today and a hard packed dirt road race tomorrow, I need to consider my tire pressure. It's not always the same tire pressure for the same conditions. Once you start to zone in on the size of the tire, the type of tire you like, and then you have to really personalize your tire pressure. So these are just some suggested tire pressures that would probably be at the very, very low end of where you should be. If you're running tubeless, this is kind of where you should be anyway, because that's the benefits of running tubeless tires. Get out there, check out your tire pressures, know what your tire pressures are, and have a great ride.